Let's talk landing in a new country, everything you can do ahead of time to prep, as well as what the actual process looks like once you land. And I apologize for how long it's taken me to make this video. Now, the first rule I always try to follow for myself is I like to, for my flight to land during daylight hours. This is for a couple of reasons. One, if anything happens or you have delays, you don't know where to go, you need help, more than likely there's gonna be more services open during the day than like super late at night. Number two, when I'm on my way to my hotel or wherever I'm staying, I like to be able to see where I'm at and start to put those things into my memory. Now, this is not a hard and fast rule. Sometimes you cannot avoid what time you arrive into a country. There's delays, there's only one flight option, whatever it is, I've definitely arrived into countries at midnight, okay? It happens, you deal with it, but if I have a choice, I'm gonna to try to get there earlier. Number two, once you know where you're staying, store your address, either take a screenshot of it and put it in your photo album or type it into your notes app on your phone, okay? You wanna store it somewhere where you don't need internet to access it. So not just in your email, not in a PDF, not on a website, okay? Someplace where if you don't have service, you can still figure out where you actually need to go once you arrive. Because a lot of times when you get to a new country, you're not going to have cell service. And if the airport Wi-Fi isn't working, you are SOL. So make sure you're saving that address somewhere where you can access it without internet. Next, you want to research transportation options from the airport to wherever your accommodation is. Now, a lot of times I'll actually research two and three together because I want to make it like as easy for myself as possible. But if you already have a place to stay, you want to figure out how are you going to get from the airport to wherever you're going? What makes the most sense for that country? Okay. I think that's really important. It's really easy to like just rely on our general knowledge of our country and what we would do here, but that isn't how it always works in other places. Now, the first place that you can look is on the airport website. A lot of times they have a little drop down that's like how to get here or like what services we have too. You can always just Google, you know, our BFF Google, but you can look at different options. You can look at public transport. Are there buses? Are this there in underground? Is there a train? Things like that. Those are really, really great to take from the airport and usually the most affordable option. You can always go with a private car. I've done this in places like in Mexico. I've been enough that I've made friends with taxi drivers. And so I will actually just book them to pick me up from the Cancun airport and take me down to Playa del Carmen. If you're planning on doing a ride share, which ones are in that country? Uber is global, but it's not in every country. So you need to look up which ride share options are in that country, what the names of them are. You might need to download a different app ahead of time, things like that. Like, so don't just rely again on your knowledge of what your country is like and make sure that you're researching what is the norm in that country. And lastly, if you're renting a car, this may or may not make sense for wherever you're going, but if you are renting a car, then research those options as well. So that's all the pre-prep, right? That's everything you're doing before you ever set foot on the plane. Now let's talk about what to expect once you land. When you land, you are going to be guided towards immigration slash border control where they're gonna look at your passport or your visa or whatever you have to decide if they're gonna let you into the country. There's really nowhere else that you can go. I know a lot of people are like, where do I go when I get off the plane? You literally, you follow the crowd and you follow the signs. Other than a bathroom, there's not going to be anywhere else for you to like a side hallway for you to go down. Okay. They want everyone going here and they are going to make you go there. Customs is really simple. It's just usually you pick a lane. You're either declaring goods or you're not declaring goods. I've never once in my life declared anything because I don't usually buy anything like duty free. I'm not bringing in thousands of dollars of things. If you are, look up the custom rules for that country. I don't know. I just go through the no claiming thing and I walk right through. After customs, actually no, that's wrong. You're going to go to baggage claim <laughs> and then you're going to go to customs. Okay. These are usually like right next to each other because if you're declaring items, it's probably in your bag. So they want you to have all your stuff. Okay. So just flip flop those. But now also during this process, you can go ahead and try to connect to the airport Wi-Fi. sometimes, but not all the time. You can go ahead and connect to it when you're immigration border control area. But a lot of times you can't really connect it until you're kind of beyond that. You can't connect right away. That's okay. Just wait until you get further into the airport. And then you probably can sometimes airport Wi-Fi is aren't working, which is why, again, going back up to top number one, make sure your address is somewhere where you can access it without having to need internet. Once you connect to the airport Wi-Fi, this is going to be a really good time to go ahead and put your address into your phone into like Google maps. So you can like follow what you're doing. 
Also, if you've decided to take public transportation, once you put it into Google Maps, for most countries, again, not all, not all of them are rely on Google, you can usually see how to take that public transit option. So for example, when I go to New York City, I almost always take the subway from the airport into Manhattan. And as soon as I put my address into Google Maps, it's me exactly what train to get on, what stops we're gonna go through, all those things. Now the last few things you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and get cash if you need it. There'll usually be an ATM or a money exchanger there. Then you're gonna follow the signs to all the transportation, okay? So there's usually gonna be a lot of signs. The bigger the airport, the more signs. But you're gonna look for Things that say taxi stand, ride share, train, a bus, whatever. Like whatever you've decided <laughs> that you're doing ahead of time, which is why it's good to know what you're doing ahead of time. You'll just start following those signs, okay? And then if you need help, ask for help. There are people at the airport, their job is to help you figure out where you're going and how you're going to get there. So when we went to Venice recently, I had researched a lot of options and I knew we could take the bus or we could take the water taxi into Venice from the airport, but I didn't know which one was the best option. So there was actually a help desk there where you could also buy your ticket, but we just asked them and they're like, which one is better? Like, what should we take? And they're like, ah, actually the bus leaves in 10 minutes. Why don't you just go ahead and do that? We were like, great. So we bought our ticket and we got on the bus. So I'd done the research. I knew what our options were, but once I got there, I still asked somebody with better knowledge, more local knowledge, what we should do ask people for help. They're there to help you. Okay. And really after that, you travel to your accommodation and that's it. As usual, this is a super long video, but I hope it kind of broke things down for you and the different steps that you can take when you travel to a new country, the different steps that I take and the research that I do and where I store it before I ever get to a country and uh, safe travels.